What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to do what is called subtractive EQ. And so right here I got a session and what I got selected down here is the vocal track. And I just got my 7 band EQ. And so um, when you do EQ for, I usually do the, the subtractive EQ for vocals. So when you do the EQ for vocals, um, you know, you usually get something like this when you're when you're done EQing. Uh, my EQs do not look like this at all. Uh, if you look at this EQ, for the most part, except for the high pass filter, you're adding, uh, you're boosting the level in a lot of frequencies. And um, I usually take out frequencies that I don't like, and then. And sometimes I, I'll do like uh, I like take out a lot of the low frequencies and kind of bring up the mids and highs. Uh, it all depends on the voice. So my EQs don't look like this at all. So I'll show you um, what the subtractive EQ is and the process of how I do it. So on a vocal track, it depends on if it's male or female. Um, I will always put in a high pass filter either at 18 dB per octave or 24. And I kind of just listen to it and find a good cutoff point. Whispers under the trees. She said she loved me. That girl's a wreck. I swear she loves a lot like that. Okay, so like right there. So, so the next thing I do is I, I move over. I don't even worry about the, the low frequencies on this band. Um, so what you want to do is you bring your Q up all the way. Uh, I know on some waves EQs the Q can go up to 100. Uh, I'd stay away from a really really high number because you don't want to single out like literally a single frequency. You just want like a really really tiny uh, amount of frequencies. So 10 is really good for this. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to boost it all the way up as high as it can go. And we're going to listen. And when we're listening, we're going to we're gonna sweep through the frequencies. We don't have to worry about anything below this high pass filter because that's already cut out. Uh, we're just going to sweep through. And as we sweep through, you want to listen really hard to you get to a spot where it just sounds really really bad and that's a good indication that that little section that you have boosted that's a really bad section of frequencies so and then after that we're going to want to bring it down so I'll show you how that works whispers under the trees she said she loved me that girl's a wreck I swear she so loves right there. a lot like that you have to listen she really hard I'm and it takes a while to, to hear it but uh, I'll play it a little bit. I'm going to boost it up a little bit so you guys can hear it a little better. Whispers under the trees. She said she loved me. That girl's a wreck. I swear she loves a lot like that. She said I'm sorry. So it's got like a really roomy tone and it's uh, it just sounds really bad. And usually you can hear the same thing around this frequency range like like 200 you know give or take like 50 um, so what we're gonna do is so like you got your spot that you found your really bad frequencies so what you want to do depends how bad they are um, you know you just want to take them out so that's like minus seven uh, usually about a good place to start if it's really really bad you know you can bring it down to like minus nine or ten and so. whispers under the trees she said she loved me that girl's a wreck I swear she loves it's a really lie like that. it's a really tiny difference but um you know there is something there and so the process works you keep going through the different bands that you have and I'll go through the next one and see if we can find something so we'll set the cue to the max Boost that up. 
Whispers under the trees. Right there. She said I didn't have to touch it at me that goes around. One K. I swear. She was really bad. Like that. She said, I'm sorry. And kind of Maybe humming. it's just me. You're gonna have to wait. So and that's and so like I said, sometimes I mix it up a little bit. Sometimes I'll put like a like a little high shelf on there just to give it a little brightness. Um and that's about it for subtractive EQ. You can, you don't have to do this on vocals. You know, it's really good for a guitar, um, and pretty much anything you want. And I, I like to use this a lot more often than adding frequencies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have a request for some other Pro Tools thing, you know, just hit me up. I'll be happy to make a video just for you to give you some info so see you guys